as the need for square kilometers and hectares. First of all, a hectare is a unit of measurement used to measure area. Okay, so measuring the amount of space in a certain shape. Now, it's funny because we already have so many other units of measurement for area. Why do we need hectare as well? We already have square millimeters, square centimeters, square meters, and square kilometers as well. So where does hectares fit in and why do we need them? Let's have a look first at the shapes I've got here. This small box just here, let's imagine that is one meter. The length of this side is one meter and the length of this side is one meter. Okay, now we know to find the area of a shape, we multiply the length by the breadth. So that means the area of this shape is one meter square, or we call it one square meter. Okay, now that's one square meter. We also have square kilometers. Square kilometer is one kilometer by one kilometer, or 1,000 meters. 1,000 meters meters on both sides so to find the area of this shape we know we multiply these numbers together so have a think before i even get to it what's it going to be we know a little trick when we multiply how many zeros are in the question are going to be in the answer so the answer is actually going to be one million one million square meters so right now that's a really big difference one square kilometer has one million square meters in it and then our next measurement underneath it is square meters and that just has one square meter so that's why we need something in between okay so let's have a look at what we could make in between to help us measure things that might not be as small as a meter square but not might not be as large as a square kilometer as well so let me move this one down just a little bit and let's make a new square. This time we've got a size that's somewhere in the middle. Okay, and this we're going to have the lengths of each side to be 100 meters. So I've got 100 meters by 100 meters. You can already start thinking about what the answer is going to be knowing our trick again. 100 times 100 is going to be 10,000 meters square or square meters. So you can see that makes a much bigger difference. It makes some midpoint between a square meter and square kilometers, which have a million square meters in them, which helps us measure different things. Okay, so that is why we have a hectare and a hectare is equal to 10,000 square meters. So there you go, it's a little bit, little bit cleaner now for us to be able to have a look at. So let's have a think what kinds of things might we use each one of these measurements to measure. Square meters, this should be revision. Let's have a think. Here are some examples. The amount of surface or the amount of carpet in your classroom a handball court could be included as well, and I'm sure you could think of some other examples. Now, hectares. These are pretty big spaces. One hectare is normally about the size of maybe two soccer fields. Okay, so some of the things you might use hectares for, and sometimes you might hear the language as well, is talking about the size of schools or shopping centers, sometimes sports stadiums and football fields, as we mentioned. And quite often when people live on farms and farmers they talk about how much land their their property is on as hectares okay and then we still have our square kilometers which are very very large what kinds of things do you think they might be used to measure they are used to measure things such as new suburbs cities and even countries okay so for example australia which is a very large country is 7,692,000 square kilometers. And just like where we live in our suburb, it would be measured in square kilometers as well. And you can see on our left, the abbreviations we use for each. Square meters, for hectares, we use a capital H and an A. 
and for square kilometers we have the km and then the little two as well okay let's have a look at some conversions if one hectare equals 10,000 square meters how many hectares are in a 20,000 square meters so let's think if one hectare is 10,000 this has two lots of 10,000 that means we're going to have two hectares perfect next one this time how many hectares are there in a hundred and ten thousand you might be noticing a little bit of a pattern here we're looking how many zeros there are four zeros in ten thousand four zeros in this number and we ended up with two if we take away the four zeros so we know that in 110,000 square meters there are going to be 11 hectares okay and down the bottom how many square meters in nine hectares so again we know that one hectare is 10,000 square meters if we had nine it would be nine times 10,000 the answer would be 90 thousand remember to leave our spaces between our zeros I know that zero was a little bit wonky 90,000 square meters and our last one 28 times 10,000 don't get tricked it's going to be 280 thousand square meters so there you go hopefully you really understand now why hectares are a really important important unit of measurement and it's something we definitely need because a lot of things we need to measure fall in somewhere between square meters and square kilometers.